off with our presentation portion for tonight. We have a couple of resolutions and some guests we'd like to call up. Our first is P34324. This is a resolution commending the Young Actors Guild upon the occasion of their 35th anniversary. This is a presentation by legislators Kennedy and Casal, and anybody else that'd like to join us up front. And is Mary here? Come on up. Hi. Yeah. The more the merrier. Come right on up. How are you? Hi, how are you? Jordan, I am. My son went to school with Jordan. Hi, Dan. Nice to meet you. Hi, Dan. Nice to meet you. All right. Okay. I'm not like a very good performer like Jordan, so it's going to take me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, like, I can feel that's the rush. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, very good. Let's, let's mm -hmm. take a look at the audience, right? Yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> this is a resolution commending the Young Actors Guild upon the occasion of their 35th anniversary. Whereas Young Actors Guild of the Capital Region is dedicated to creating high quality theater for young artists, and whereas established in 1989 by Mary D'Amico, D'Amico, as the Rensselaer Youth Theater Workshop on the RPI campus, Young Actors Guild has grown to become one of the longest running children's educational theater program in the capital region. And whereas YAG is committed to improving the quality of life for children and families in our communities by serving approximately 250 young people and families annually in a six key program, program areas each year. We have workshops in stage, production, new play development, theater, arts training, vacation camps, and high school apprentice and college intern programs. And whereas, the mission of the Young Actors Guild is to encourage a child's self-discovery, enhance their self-expression, stimulate their imagination, and develop strong characters. And whereas Young Actors Guild provides professional expectations, resources, and mentors that lead young people through the exploration of multiple theoretical disciplines, disciplines. disciplines and whereas YAG provides a multiple of perspectives and experiences they believe are essential to learning and is committed to making program available for young artists of all social economic and cultural backgrounds. <laughs> and whereas the Young Actors Guild values providing a diverse experience for all participants and their preparation for future endeavors in theater, focusing on their core, core values, <clears throat> self-esteem, empathy, responsibility, collaboration, creativity, and pre preservation. Now, therefore, be it resolved that in accordance with the tradition of the Rensselaer County Legislature to recognize those institutions and individuals who have contributed to the vitality of this community, it hereby commends the Young Actors Guild as it celebrates its 35th anniversary and be it further resolved that the clerk of the legislator is hereby directed to transmit a copy of this resolution suitably engrossed to the Young Actors Guild. Oh, thank you. Oh, there are two of them. So definitely, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, can say a few words? Thank you. Oh, yeah, well, Dan's going to say a few okay. words. Okay. Can I say a few words here? Yeah. Get my glasses so I can see. <laughs> okay, so I've known Mary for a long time. Uh, She's a great person, but I want to read something here. Here, in Mary, I'm probably going to steal Mary Sunder right now. <laughs> but in a, in, a, in a Times Union couple, in a Times Union newspaper that everybody supposedly reads or gets, I'm not sure. Um, in 2024, Young Actors Guild finished 
second in their Times Reader poll for a theater group. And that was only behind the Park Playhouse in Albany. And third was Capital Rep. So this, this uh, Young Actors Guild gag is, 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 oh, they were head of Park Playhouse. Oh, but, yep, yeah. yep. So that, that tells you right there. I think I got Mary here. So I'm sorry. And your son did yag. For yeah, and I'm going to tell you, my son did yag for, for years and years and years. And my son's not an athlete. I mean, he played a little lacrosse, dabbled in that. You know, he played a little soccer. He played the guitar while he was playing soccer out in the field and stuff. <laughs> but uh, it, I just firmly believe my, my son is not where he is right now if it wasn't for Mary and yag. You know, he went on to do great things in high school, and now he's doing great things in college. And I owe it to Yag. And um, it, it gets these kids that aren't good in sports and gets them out of their shell. And it gets these kids hanging out with groups they belong with, group hanging out with, in, in, a, in a, all types of, of, of kids, you know, where, where they come from, where, where they were born, where they're, how they were raised, everything. So I want to say thank you, Mary, for well, all you do. You, You're just I a great person. It. Thank you. Thank you. I also want to add that we give out tens of thousands of scholarships a year. Go ahead to speak, Mary. Because that's important to me to turn, say. Turn to speak. Oh, no, oh, I get to speak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I want to thank Dan for inviting me here. And um, just to say that, yes, I've been doing this for 35 years in Troy. Um, I was really fortunate. I was doing it at Tamarack High and Rick Hart from the Rensselaer, or the Polytechnic Institute's Union. Some of you probably know him. He was the director of the student union for many years. He asked me to go to RPI, and of course I was like, why? He said, I want you to do the children's theater there. And I grew up in Troy, so I mean, I wouldn't think that RPI would need a children's theater, but they did because the Playhouse had a responsibility to house a community program when the founders built it and the donators. So we went there, and there wasn't really children's theater back then, but he said, I think this could go year round. And I said, no, parents are not going to pay for this year round. He said, I am. And then we just grew. We had a point where we had 110 kids a semester because there weren't a lot of children's theaters. Now, of course, the world is very different. And I'm kind of proud that we've managed to survive through COVID because obviously we got shut down and we had to rebuild and start over. Um, but our main goal is not to make stars of these kids. Um, we want to give them an opportunity to explore the human condition, other people, listen to other people's opinions, hear other people's creative ideas, and then to slowly and steadily develop their own individual feelings and um, most importantly to me, critical thinking, which is not really being taught today. Um, so we for years have debated issues, we debate things, we, I allow them to disagree with me and encourage them to disagree with me, um, and that's getting tougher to do. As we all know, things are changing. But I just want to say, you know, even um, kids like Pat Casal, um, Dan here, Dan grew up in my program. He came a little late when he was 16, but he's been here ever since. Now he gives back. He comes and works with the kids. He does my tech for me. Um, it's a community. And these days, it's really hard for kids and young adults to find a community to be a part of. And so I hope that in the next 50 years, we continue and we continue to find, have a place where kids can land and stay consistently while they're growing up so they develop real relationships because this, the cell phone, is ruining that for them. It's, um, it's destroying it, you know? So it's really important to me. I'm hoping that I'll find a space in Troy somewhere because I don't have one right now, but I'm renting all over and we're continuing and we have a community. And so I would just encourage, I mean, if anybody, people ask you if there's a place where they can send their kids, send them to YAG. You know, I'm not turning them into Broadway actors. I'm turning them into people who know how to think and be individuals and be strong. So that's what I'm about. And I thank you all for having me here tonight. It's a great milestone for me, and I appreciate it. Um, this is my choreographer, photographer, slash daughter, who is becoming the right arbiter of the program. And Dan, of course, is my music, my um, tech director. And so thank you all. Um, I appreciate it. And I appreciate it, Dan. Thank you, Mary. Okay, thank you. Oh, can we get a picture? That's yours. Yeah, can we get a picture? Yeah. Can we get a picture? We can get one now. Okay. Lori? Okay. You got Dan, can you get one with her? Yeah. 
Okay, Here yeah, can get yeah, both yeah, of them. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Dan, I like your comment about you know, not all children play sports. Um, so I think it does give folks an opportunity to use their creativity and to learn how to get along with people in a different way. Um, so thank you all for everything that you've done and good luck with your space search. Okay, our next resolution is P23. Uh, this is a resolution designating the week of October 6th through the 12th, 2024 as Cornell Cooperative Extension Week and National 4-H Week. We look forward to this presentation, our annual presentation from our folks and Bernie and, and the crew are coming on up here. Um, this is a presentation by legislators Harrington and Wysocki. And anyone else who would like to join us up front? No, I didn't know if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the board. So. Dan, you bet, Farmer Dan better get up here. <laughs> Actually, resolution P41824, resolution designating the week of October 6th to the 12th, 2024, is National Cornell Extension Week and National 4-H Week. Cornell Cooperative Extension Association of Rensselaer County since Rensselaer County Legislature action establishing the Rensselaer County Farm Bureau in April of 1917, which later became Cooperative Extension, which continues to enable people to improve their lives and communities through partnerships that put experience and research knowledge to work. And whereas Cornell Cooperative Extension system is a viable partnership between federal, state, and county governments, educational outreach of Cornell University, knowledge and research, as well as youth, volunteer and staff. And whereas for more than 100 years, 4-H has inspired families, shaped careers, impacted communities, 4-H youth development has served as one of, for one of every eight youths in New York State, is recognized as the best future for agriculture in New York State and continues to provide meaningful youth development experiences for over 2,000 school, school students and special interests, day camps, enrichment programs, 30 community clubs, and over 300 4-H youth members and 110 adult volunteers in Rensselaer County. Cornell Cooperative Extension through the 4-H Youth Development Program invests in New York State's future by creating opportunities for youth to grow into future agriculture in New York State, Rensselaer County, and develop their personal leadership skills, contribute to their communities, strengthen their science and technology abilities. This year, national theme is Beyond Ready. This theme celebrates how 4-H is building an, a ready generation in the world of change, equipping youth with skills for the future while meeting them where they are today. And whereas Cornell Cooperative Extension in Rensselaer County, agriculture, food systems, educational programs contribute to empowering individuals and enterprise in agriculture and promote attractive 
landscapes, assuring a safe, nutritional, and abundant food supply, supporting a thriving New York State economy. Cornell Cooperative Extension will continue to provide high quality innovation, education programs, and products that help New Yorkers build strong and vibrant communities. Cornell Cooperative Extension has reached the 107th year anniversary for working in our community throughout the county to improve health, quality of life of residents, supporting and strengthening agriculture and horticulture endeavors, and providing a relevant and meaningful programs for youth. Cornell Extension is excited to enter its second century of service, serving residents of Rensselaer County, aiming to meet the ever-changing needs of our county. And whereas Cornell Extension of Rensselaer County will continue to be active in such programs as the Scatty Coke Fair, farm business management, agronomy, horticulture, dairy, livestock, vegetable, and fruit production, healthy homes, nutrition, education, consumer education, and youth leadership. And now there it be resolved that Rensselaer County Legislature recognizes 107 years of outstanding service to Rensselaer County community and hereby designates the week of October 6th through the 12th, 2024 as Cornell Cooperative Extension Week and National 4-H Week in Rensselaer County. And be it further resolved, the clerk of the legislation transmit in a gross copy of a resolution to executive director of the Rensselaer County Cooperative Extension. That's Bernie. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you very much. Ken, do you want to talk? Or no, I, well, I just, I don't want to. I would just like to say congratulations once again. Um, you talk about, you know, the previous presentation, talk about youth and non-sports. There's another one right here. <clears throat> I was never, never very good in sports. Well, never really got interested in sports. But I did join 4-H uh, when I was 10 years old. You had to be 10. Is that still the same? Yeah. No, no, not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, Much younger when Kenny now. and I were in, we had to be yeah. 10. You had to be 10. So uh, that was 1950. So <laughs> I've been there <laughs> So I, I was 74 years ago, right, last month uh, when I joined. So I haven't, wasn't there in the beginning, but pretty close to it. <laughs> That's a, it's an excellent program was then and still is. So. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to spend much time at the podium because we have two excellent volunteer. Our board president, Donna Bradbury, is going to say a few words. And one of our outstanding teens is going to speak, um, Mackenzie Diamond. And I'd like to also recognize our 4-H uh, team leader, Candace Freer, as well as Eileen DePaula, our 4-H coordinator. So I'm going to step aside. Thanks, Bernie, and thanks everybody for having us tonight. Um, so although we don't have our statistics for the year finalized, um, it's estimated that collectively across our major program areas of 4-H youth development, agriculture, horticulture, family consumer science, and our digital literacy education, we collectively serve over 5,000 residents directly and an additional 20,000 and mo possibly more than that indirectly. As we finish our 107th year of serving the county and New York State, it's amazing to see the breadth of programming we now provide compared to our origins over a century ago. We've done our best to keep up with the changing needs of our residents. The Scatacoke Fair is a highlight every year and we look forward to sharing our programs um, and what we do year round with all the fair goers. We wanna thank those of you who assisted with elements of our CCE outreach and activities at the fair from judging costume, co costume classes and officiating cow chip bingo to the ever popular cow chip bingo <laughs> to simply being available and coming to see us and all that we do in our CCE building at the fair and throughout all the barns. We look forward to another strong year delivering relevant programs to our communities from agriculture and horticulture programs to school enrichment, after school and drop-in sessions here at our office. 
we continue to appreciate and utilize the new space and can't believe we're going to be celebrating our second December here at 99 Troy Road. Thank you for your ongoing support financially and personally. Our annual meeting is scheduled for November 12th at the Hilton Garden Inn on Hoosick Street in Troy, and you'll all be receiving a ballot and an invitation to this meeting, and we'll be receiving um, our final annual report by the end of the year. So thank you again for providing this resolution annually, and it's greatly appreciated. So now I'm going to turn it over to Mackenzie. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mackenzie Diamond, and I'm a high school junior at April Park High School. I thank each and one of you for your continuous support to Rensselaer County 4-H. Not only does this help our lovely CCE members, but this also supports each teen or child enrolled in 4-H. As a 4-H teen myself, it really makes an impact on what someone can do with 4-H in their life. Within my past four years of involvement, I have been able to attend so much and make an impact on my community. When you think of 4-H, you automatically think that it's only about agriculture, which is true, but not in all aspects. This past year, I had been one of six teams from across New York State to attend the 2024 National 4-H Conference, which had been held in Washington, DC. During the week, I had the experience of working alongside teens and educators from across the country, plus working with a national agency as a collaborative group project on a task given. Not only does this getting teens to work efficiently, but it also built a form of confidence and leadership skills that sometimes could be lacked of. Not only do you build new skills, but you also get to introduce to new topics of areas of work that you may have never heard of or even thought of before. Having the ability to speak, to speak with governmental representatives can also have a bigger effect on how agriculture makes a large impact on our economy, jobs, and our country overall. Taking the lessons that I have learned from state and national conferences had made my sense and pride in what I do stronger. I continue to push myself to better my community and engage with others more. Not only pushing myself in my community, but pushing my interests and attending even more events to build off of. Other events such as National 4-H Congress and the New York State Youth Ag and Leadership Conference, which I will be attending both in November. Having the support from my family and community has a great impact on me. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for supporting teens like myself and many more to come in the future. Anybody else? Candace? No. no. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay, thanks everybody. I think we'll roll right into our regular meeting. We'll call the meeting to order at 6.10 p.m. Wait for Mr. Danaher. How are you doing? <clears throat> so the October 8th, 2024 regular meeting of the Rensselaer County Legislature is now hereby called to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Bailey. Here. Mr. Cassell. Mr. Choquette? Here. Mr. Fiacco? Here. Mr. Fleming? Here. Mr. Jenrin? Here. Mr. Grant? Present. Mr. Grimm? Here. Mr. Harrington? Present. Ms. Kennedy? Here. Mr. Leverage? Here. Mr. Maloney? Here. Ms. Nichols? Here. Mr. Petiri? Here. Mr. Stahl? Here. Ms. Weaver? Here. Mr. Wysocki? Here. Mr. Zalewski? Here. Chairwoman Hoffman? Here. There are 19 present. Invocation, Mr. Grant? Amen. Pledge of Allegiance, Mr. Grimm. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Mr. Harrington? Second. Second. So I have a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Minutes approved. Presentation of petitions. On file. Presentation of communications. On file. Reports of commissions. On file. Departmental reports. On file. Reports of standing committees. On file. Local laws. There are none tonight. Okay, we'll get right on to the index of resolutions. G39324. G39324, resolution authorizing the purchase of one patrol vehicle, Office of the Rensselaer County Sheriff, introduced by legislators Leverage Grant, Weaver, and Maloney. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G39424. G39424, resolution amending the 2024 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget Bureau of Public Safety, introduced by legislators Grant, Maloney, and Weaver. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G39524. G39524, resolution authorizing the payment of con payment to the Country Club of Troy for the annual Quotes for Kids event, Unified Family Services, Youth Services, introduced by legislators Leverage Grant, Weaver, Harrington, Cassell, and Nichols. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G39624. G39624, resolution authorizing the less than full-time contract tracer position to be converted to a full-time position and amending the 2024 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget Department of Health. Introduced by Legislator Stahl, Jenrin, and Nichols. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G39724. G39724, resolution authorizing the creation of a planning and development aid position and amending the 2024 Rensselaer County Adoptive Budget Bureau of Economic Development and Planning. Introduced by legislators Choquette, Jenner, and Nichols. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G39824. G39824, resolution amending the 2024 Rensselaer County Adoptive Budget Office of the Rensselaer County Sheriff. Introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, and Maloney. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G39924. G39924, resolution authorizing agreements with various county municipalities for snow and ice removal. Highway department introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, Harrington, Bailey, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G424. G424, resolution authorizing an agreement with Collier's Engineering and Design for Engineering Services Highway Department, introduced by legislators Leverage Grant, Weaver, Harrington, Bailey, and Fleming. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So, oh, sorry. Mr. Grant? Did you move it? I'm sorry. I, I'll wait. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. Mr. Grant. Uh, I just want to thank, and particularly our district uh, two colleagues, uh, Chairwoman Hoffman, Vice Chair Bailey, uh, and Fiaco, Legislator Fiaco. This is an important measure, uh, G400. This involves a uh, culvert uh, on County Route 53, which is a connector between uh, East Greenbush, town of East Greenbush, and the town of West Sand Lake. This is a culvert that has been various degrees of disrepair for a long period of time. And I want to commend the uh, EPW, the county the highway department, the, uh, the county engineer, the county executive's office, and the office of central services for working together with everyone on this. And I also want to commend the uh, other members of the legislature for approving this on a unanimous bipartisan basis. So it's a vital cog in the town of East Greenbush, as well as a uh, in the town, I think, of, of uh, West Sand Lake. The Best Luther Fire Department uh, is right off of this route, County Route 53, and you have fire apparatus going back and forth towards East Greenbush over this culvert. This culvert is in such difficult shape that initially looking at the design proposals, this culvert may have to be turned into an actual bridge. There's issues there's, with erosion, there's issue with the, the, uh, the safety of the stream bed. There's actually issues regarding geometry on this. This is a crucial issue for the town of East Greenbush. So we really appreciate uh, the support. So again, gonna be a complicated project, a design project. I think you'll hear, be, be hearing more about this project as, as this progresses. It's a difficult project, but it's vital that needs to be done. 
So we appreciate your support, both sides <laughs> of the aisle. It's an important project to uh, the town of East Greenbush. And on behalf of the rest of the District 2 legislators, we appreciate your support, and we'll never forget this. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Tom. This has been uh, something that's been brought up to us a couple of times when we've been um, ourselves and the county executive have been out to uh, the firehouse. So uh, looking forward to getting this done and getting that repaired. So thank you, Tom, for that. G40124. G40124, resolution authorizing an agreement with New York State Department of Agriculture and Markets for for the Petroleum Product Quality Program, Consumer Affairs, introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, Harrington, Bailey, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G40224. G40224, resolution authorizing the purchase of Winter Coats, Unified Family Services, Youth Services, introduced by legislators Harrington, Cassell, and Nichols. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G40324. G40324, resolution authorizing the implementation and funding of the cost of a transportation project, County Route 40 Plank Road Bridge replacement over Post and Kill, which may be eligible for federal aid and or state aid or reimbursement from the Bridge New York funds in amending the 2024 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget Highway Department introduced by legislators Harrington, Bailey, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G40424. G40424, resolution accepting a grant award from the New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services for the pretrial services and amending the 2024 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget Department of Probation. Introduced by legislators Leverage Grant, Weaver, and Maloney. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G40524. G40524, resolution authorizing an agreement with Boys and Girls Club of the Capital Area for community programming for areas of most risk toward violent crime, Department of Probation, introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, and Maloney. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G40624. G40624, resolution authorizing payment of an annual maintenance agreement for Tyler Technologies, Inc., Bureau of Finance, introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, Bailey, Hoffman, and Grimm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G40724. G40724, resolution authorizing the purchase of Kronos Advanced Scheduling Software and Database Merger Bureau of Human Resources, introduced by legislators Wysocki, Pateri, and Zalewski. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G40824. G40824, resolution authorizing the acceptance of a grant award from the New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services and amending the 2024 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget District Attorney, introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, and Maloney. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G40924. G40924, resolution amending the 2024 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget Office of the Rensselaer County Sheriff, introduced by legislators Grant, Maloney, and Weaver. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G41024. G41024, resolution authorizing acceptance of a grant award from the New York State Office of Victim Services and amending the 2024 Rensselaer County Adopted Budget District Attorney, introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, and Maloney. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G41124. G41124, resolution authorizing the sole source purchase of parts from Schwing Bioset, Sewer District Number 1, introduced by legislators Harrington, Bailey, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G41224. G41224, resolution modifying and adopting Agricultural District Number 3, Hoosick, Pittstown, as a result of the eight year review of said district, introduced by legislators Harrington, Wysocki, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G41324. G41324, resolution modifying and adopting Agricultural District Number 4, Hoosick, as a result of the eight year review of said district, introduced by legislators Harrington, Wysocki, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G41424. G41424, resolution authorizing preparation and filing of annual mortgage expense report form by the Rensselaer County Clerk, Rensselaer County Clerk. Introduced by legislators Hoffman, Leverage, Harrington, Grimm, and Nichols. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G40425. 
G41524. G41524, resolution authorizing an amendment to energy performance contracts with Siemens Ind Industry Inc. for facility services, central services, introduced by legislators Leverage, Grant, Weaver, Harrington, Bailey, and Fleming. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. P41624. P41624, resolution appointing a trustee to Hudson Valley Community College, introduced by legislators Casal, Jenrin, and Nichols. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. P41724. P41724, resolution appointing a trustee to Hudson Valley Community College, introduced by legislators Casal, Jenrin, and Nichols. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. P41824. P41824, resolution designating the week of October 6th to the 12th, 2024, as Cornell Cooperative Extension Week and National 4 H Week. Introduced by legislators Waisaki, Harrington, and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. P41924. P41924, resolution supporting Operation Greenlight for veterans. Introduced by legislators Harrington, Cassell, and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. P42024. P42024, resolution recognizing November as National Diabetes Awareness Month in Rensselaer County. Introduced by legislators Hoffman and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. P42124. P42124, resolution recognizing November 15, 2024 as National Recycling Day in Rensselaer County. Introduced by legislators Grimm, Nichols, Fleming, Weaver, Zaluski, and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. P42224. P42224, resolution recognizing October 2024 as Substance Abuse Prevention Month in Rensselaer County. Introduced by legislators Grimm, Nichols, Fleming, Weaver, Zaluski, and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. P42324. P42324, resolution commending Rensselaer County Public Defender John Turry Esquire upon receiving the 2024 Jonathan E. Gratis Public Defender of the Year Award, introduced by legislators Grant Maloney and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. P42424. P42424, resolution commending Mary Fran Wachunas upon the occasion of her retirement from Rensselaer County, introduced by legislator Hoffman and the entire legislative body. Regrettably, I'm going to vote on this. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. P42524. P42524, resolution commending Linda McMahon upon the occasion of her retirement from Rensselaer County, introduced by legislators Grant Maloney and the entire legislative body. So I'd also like to regrettably accept this resolution. And I, I just want to make sure and um, recognize Linda. She's here with us tonight. And um, you're taking a step in the direction that your husband did, right? He decided to retire, then you did decided to as well. Uh, but on behalf of all of us, um, thank you so much for all your years of service to the county and to the residents of Rensselaer County. We're going to miss, miss you terribly. but. Wish you well um, in your retirement and, um, you know, whatever you decide to do in the future, hopefully you'll come back and visit us. But thank you so much for everything you did. <laughs> okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. P42624. P42624, resolution commending Chief Master Sergeant George Malaco, upon being named the Air National Guards recipient of the Lance P. Saijan Leadership Award, introduced by legislators Pateri Waisaki and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. P42724. P42724, resolution adjourning the October 8, 2024, legislative meeting in memory of Richard James Haldeman, Jr., introduced by legislators Hall. Hoffman, Bailey, Fiaco, Grant, and the entire legislative body. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. G42824. G42824, resolution authorizing fiber projects or district number one, introduced by legislator Hoffman. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 19 ayes. So moved. 
G42924. G42924, resolution declaring the intent of Rensselaer County to act as lead agency for the town of North Greenbush Water System Improvement Project introduced by Legislator Leverage. All those in favor? Aye. aye. Oh, I shouldn't have said aye. You got more cases. Yes. Came down. I don't, I'm not suggesting any impropriety or anything, but I do like to uh, research the um, uh, resolutions that uh, I'm voting on, so I'm going to abstain. I can't, uh, in good conscience, vote for or against it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we did all those in favor, correct? Opposed? I'm going to abstain. 17 ayes, two abstentions, Mrs. Hoffman and Mr. Fleming. Okay, so moved. Legislator privilege. Mr. Maloney. I'd like to take a minute to thank everybody that was able to support us on the reverse rent fundraiser that we had a few weeks ago. It was great to see so many people there and know that so many other people helped support us. Uh, we saw 19 plus 100 people walk through uh, the gates, uh, you know, right behind the firehouse and spend a good portion of the day, uh, you know, with us and, and enjoy the music and the fun for the kids and everything else. But most importantly, we we should be really close to hitting the million dollar mark on fundraising uh, that we've done since we've started the process. So on behalf of Dan's family and my family, we'd like to thank everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much for those of you who attended. It was the attendance was unbelievable. There was a lot of uh, great vendors and bands, but the majority of you know folks obviously are there for um, the fundraising opportunities to um, to recognize what a great cause that is. And um, to Dan and your family, um, I know this has been difficult, um, but I also want to recognize Bill for the work that you've put into that um, and everybody else. So thank you very much. Nice job. Mr. Maloney, motion to, motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Hey, have a good night, everybody. Be safe.